actually coming out from the hospital right now. I've had an, I'm, I'm having an appointment now, you can see. It's not like I'm sick, but I'm applying for a job uh, to work here in the hospital. So they needed to do a, take my blood sample to make sure I'm immune to certain diseases because working in the hospital, you need to be in good health. Yeah. So they actually took a blood sample from me. I didn't record that part, but sorry, I didn't record. I didn't record that part, but it was it was like a horrifying experience because I haven't like. I haven't taken any form of injection or a syringe in my body for I think more than five years now. So <laughs> I closed my eyes, I was like, I just felt something warm that pierced my arm and damn, it was so fast I didn't even realize it was done. So they said they are gonna call me back. Thank you. I'm trying to cross the road. The police gave way for me to cross. So this is what it looks like here. This is what it looks like here. This is the car park on my right. So I'm I'm using the back exit you can see here. So this is what my arm looks looks like. I can't put my my cloth down properly because just uh, less than five minutes ago, I received this syringe in my body to collect blood, the blood test. So yeah, I'm just heading back. It was a very fast appointment. It took less than ten minutes. So I'm heading back home now. Huh? Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, they said they're gonna call me back within a week to let me know the feedback. But I'm very positive, man. For close to five years. Five years now I haven't like been hospitalized so having any kind of serious illness for close to the only issues I've had within the last five years I think is um, dental problem where I've been going visiting the dentist front and forward and so forth yeah but apart from that I, haven't, I don't really have like any major health problem which I'm really grateful for that there's nothing more important than having a good health. I don't smoke, I don't drink, no alcohol, nothing. Yeah, this is what it is. So I'm just gonna head back now. I'm heading to the to the bus station. I don't have anything to do here. Just head back home. Yeah. And I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace guys what just happened right now guys what just happened right now i quit my i'm just i'm quitting my job now i gave a call less than 30 seconds ago and i'm done with the call i mean the call actually lasted for about five minutes I told them I wasn't coming back. It's a good job. Based on learning new skills, it's a good job, which I would have really loved to have the job, but sometimes things will not always go the way you want it. So you just have to let go, no matter how interesting it is, you just have to let go. And that's what I did. It was hard for me turning down that job. That's the job many people would like to do. and. Yeah, it's the kind of job I've always dreamt of, but I couldn't take the job because due to personal reasons and, you know, circumstances I find myself in which is really, really critical, I say. So sometimes you need to make some tough decisions, which I, I just made. So I, we have been on the pro application process of this job for close to one month, close to one and a half month. And after just going one day to work, I just, I I knew the work was good, but 
this is not the right time for me to have that kind of job. It's a it's a nine to five job. I'm working eight a.m. to half past four. That's four thirty p.m. Monday to Friday, and there's a lot that's going on right now. I can't see myself working from Monday to Friday. That's using the whole week because I have a lot of other appointments and and uh, stuff I'm trying to get into, which is really gonna take me a lot of time during the day doing appointments attending um different appointments doing you know it's just a lot that i don't think i'm gonna sacrifice other bigger opportunities that may come and i'll need to attend to them but i'm doing this other job which is the i like the job only because i'm going to gain skills for life but also yeah that's it because even though the pay is very low but i was really thinking of the skills i can get but it is what it is so i just called now and i told them unfortunately i won't be able to come back to the job i just like i made everything clear to them they say it's okay i just made them to know that i don't i never wanted to waste their time and waste my time as well because maybe me quitting after one week or two weeks is better to do it now rather than wasting maybe they are gonna take two weeks to train me or one week to train me and then at the end i quit that's a lot of wastage of resources and you know yeah but the the lady which was working on my application throughout she was really she understood she said it's my decision it's personal reason i say yeah but she said she will inform the the company which um, hired me and yeah that they my chances at because i just told him it's never good to burn bridges so she said it's good as i'm explaining everything but that it's good as i'm explaining everything rather than me maybe just being silent and not even coming to work that would be like burning bridges because i don't know where tomorrow is gonna land me so right now i really feel like I'm like confused. I don't know if I made the right decision. I feel like I made the right decision. That's what I feel right now. It's the right decision. But I'm still doubting myself. Like, is it really the right decision? But I've like I took a whole week. I wait all the all this the the factions are. Uh, I thought it's the right thing to do. So yeah, that's it. I've quit my that's the first nine to five job I've ever gotten and I quit it so let's see what goes from now guys so far I feel like I've lost count of the days I've been filming this video <laughs> but today is another day today is a Monday and I'm heading to the barbing salon to cut my hair On a track cross. I wanna try and cross the road right now. Oh I wanna cross. I crossed the road on the wrong section of the road. Wow. So this area is really really muddy. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I would try and go one. Guys, this is what this left this neighborhood looks like. So Today's a really sunny day and I decided today I'm gonna cut my hair off. The hair is giving me a lot of stress. Not like the real stress, but like you know, just thinking about keeping it in shape and the rest. I don't know. Maybe this kind of hair is not meant to, to me. I actually put some hair uh, moisturizer on my head for long now. It's as if it was a fake hair moisturizer is it damaged my hair for example if i do like this hair is gonna cut off you see what i'm saying you see hair on my hand 
So each time I want to comb my hair, you have hair everywhere in the in the room. So I've been experiencing this for long. I just decided today I'm going to cut this hair off. Yeah, I'm going to cut it off. So I'm heading out to a bus stop to go and take a bus where I'm going to be going to where I'm going to cut the hair off. So actually i'm not just going to cut off only my hair i have different appointments i have different appointments which i have to do so at least i don't have the whole day wasted just for one activity God, those guys stop. I think maybe they wanted to ask me something, but it's like they never wanted to ask me anything. So I'm going to where I have to cut my hair off. I'm gonna catch you guys later. But before I do that, let me just show you how the, this neighborhood is beautiful. You know, I like uh, beautiful scenes, so and it's really sunny today. So this is what it looks like. This way I'm walking, the pattern I'm walking. It's really, really quiet and calm. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. I wanna hurry up and catch the bus so I don't miss it. I'm gonna catch you guys later. guys so we have come to the end of the video hope you enjoyed it so here's my new haircut it's really dark out here i don't think you guys can see this haircut very well but man the cut is really really amazing man i told the guy i was really really impressed he did his job because you know first impressions first impression counts a lot so that's the haircut. Let's see the street of London at night. Really, really busy. So, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate. Hope to see you guys in my next video. From me to you, is bye bye.